Hey everybody, it's Harry from Celebrate Daddy Barbecue. Thanks for coming by and watch this crazy episode. You see me cook 300 old videos cooking essentially land animals and birds, but this is the first time this thing from the sea. This is a beautiful bluefin tuna. We've got a head here. My son's buddy went fishing off San Clemente Island in California and uh, scored himself a big bluefin tuna. He didn't know quite what to do with the head, so guess what? Uh, I'm the lucky recipient of a brand spanking, delicious, crazy, awesome, nuts, whole head of tuna. I have no idea what the actual tuna size is, but I can imagine it's probably at least, what? I want to guess at least five, maybe feet long. So for those of you who are into fishing tuna, let me know what you think the actual weight of the fish was before they took the head off. We're going to show you guys how to pit roast a tuna head. We we'll show you guys how to take out the karma and some of the best parts of the tuna head, including the eyeball. So if you are not grossed out by a whole fish head, please continue to watch this episode. So for those of you who never broken down a fish head, I'm going to talk you guys through the pieces. I used to uh, work in Singapore and one of the delicacies in Singapore is curry fish head. The good news is that you need a tool that you see me use on a whole hog. So this tool is going to be needed to break down something as big as a tuna head. At the same time, I'm going to also see if I can make kind of like a sukiyaki boiled tuna dish. At the same time, we're going to do a whole pit roasted tuna head. So we're going to show you guys what we do. First thing we want to do is uh, remove this part here, which is the belly meat here. And this is super duper delicious. All right, we'll get this piece of meat from the bottom belly. Okay, absolutely gorgeous piece of uh, bluefin tuna belly. Next thing we want to do is remove the kama, which is the bluefin tuna collar. And that's this piece here with the gills on it. All right, so I, uh, I'm too tired. This uh, tuna got me beat, sweet, super sweaty. So I got a strapping young lad, my son. So Amy's here too, uh, recording for all her friends on Instagram that uh, we have a piece of uh, bloody tuna kill here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that hair? No, no, it's a, it's a gills. Okay, getting the gills out. Excellent job. Woohoo! Look at that. Um, let's see, it's connected. It's connected to the top. You need to remove the top. <gasps> oh my god. Do you even know what that is? He doesn't know what he's looking at. Huh? Alright, excellent. Look at that. Excellent. Look at that. Smell these. Oh, it smells weird. Oh, look at that. Okay, the gills. Looks like a huge. Yeah, look at Lift it up. All right, so tuna done, <laughs> All ready right. to roast. All right, I did my part. It's gonna take about five hours to roast this tuna. You're gonna smoke it? Uh, we're gonna smoke some of it, and we're gonna make some with sukiyaki style. And we're gonna do a whole bunch of things to this wonderful, amazing creature of the ocean. Hey, beans. Beans, look. Excellent. <laughs> salt and uh, mirin schmear on the whole tuna head. As you can see it's huge and uh, we've cut off the collar which is the kama and we're going to season it on the outside with a little bit of um, mirin. 
and just get a little bit of salt on the outside. A jar? You think it's gonna? I don't think yeah. so, Dad. Yeah. MacGyvering. Get something heavy. Maybe one. Maybe one more. <laughs> it's still a little open, but let's work on the collar of the uh, bluefin tuna next. Uh, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna use the same schmear using the uh, mirin as the schmear. But I'm going to do one using my uh, all-purpose rub and one using my chicken rub. Uh, this is the partnership with Jealous Devil, my love rub. So whether you buy this container or this container, it's essentially the same formula that I've used. So a little bit of a mirin. Like so ginormous colors. A little bit of slapidity barbecue rub on the colors. Make it absolutely, absolutely amazing. And now we do the uh, chicken rub now. Also very good on any kind of seafood here. Okay, all set to go. <laughs> Alright, let's prepare the uh, tuna belly. And uh, let's do it uh, two different ways here. Here's the belly of the tuna, also known as the toro from the belly area of uh, this uh, bluefin tuna. And I'm going to start with a little bit of uh, mirin on it. And we're going to do a little bit of a teriyaki glaze on it and uh, smoke it. And maybe make some of it into a, a sukiyaki or a nabe style with uh, some uh, stock for dashi. I have some... Uh, Teriyaki here. You can make your own teriyaki, but you know, I, for the interest of time, I'm just gonna use a store-bought Yamasa. This is a really good brand. And uh, you, you probably want to know that uh, the uh, most expensive grade of tuna is actually this one here called the bluefin. And uh, this is the first class fish in all categories in terms of the color, taste, and texture. And uh, there is also gonna be red flesh and also toro, which is the fatty flesh. I don't know if you can see here. You can see the toro here, kind of like a Kobe steak here, the, the toro. And uh, it's really, really expensive if you can find this. Uh, some of these uh, whole fishes cost tens of thousands of dollars. So we're really fortunate to have a piece here to be able to try the toro, which is the choiciest part, which is the belly of the bluefin tuna. A bit more here. So I'm going to let it um, steep in some uh, teriyaki sauce. Gonna give it a light smoke and then we're gonna make a dashi stock with some kombu and I'll make a dashi stock to make a little like a sukiyaki which is kind of like a soup broth tuna get some uh, other Japanese ingredients in there it's gonna be absolutely perfect as a steaming hot tuna comfort food All right, one side is cooked and uh, I just flipped the tuna over to get the other side done. Looks absolutely gorgeous. A whole tuna, bluefin tuna head, roast, pit roasted in the Weber kettle. Absolutely beautiful teriyaki, maguro, toro belly. Super duper beautiful. Our Hon Maguro tuna is ready, bluefin, ready to go. I've done a couple of different recipes for you. We have our dipping sauce, which is the tare. We have the like a nabe sukiyaki with the tuna. We do it with the toro, the belly. Here's the belly we're gonna enjoy on its own out of the broth. 
of course you gotta have some tuna skin and this is absolutely crunchy and amazing uh, it's very similar to like salmon skin if you ever had a salmon skin roll in a Japanese restaurant these are absolutely absolutely amazing and then look at this thing here we have the tuna bluefin hanmaguro full collar and this is out of a probably 200 to 250 pound tuna we have a one done with the slapyaletti chicken rub, which works really well in seafood. I have the other one slow smoked with the slapyaletti all-purpose rub. We're gonna enjoy it with just a squeeze of lemon on this one. We're gonna sit down and try all these different iterations of tuna, while the main course with the big head is still cooking in the Weber kettle. That's coming up next. So let's start with a little bit of a soup. I have uh, some dashi, which is a Japanese uh, bonito stock here. We're going to enjoy it with a bit of tofu, a little bit of spinach, a little bit of uh, mushrooms, and we're going to enjoy this this uh, toro, which is the tuna belly smoked and cooked in a dashi broth. Let's see if we can get you to see this thing here. Okay, so here's how it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous tuna belly, extremely fatty, full of uh, wonderful gelatinous tuna meat and fat. Here's the piece of tof soft tofu and some mushrooms. Let's give this a shot and see how it tastes like. Okay, let me warm up with a little bit of mushroom, some soft tofu. For those of you guys who don't like tofu, don't 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 try this. Wow, I gotta sip the broth. This uh sukiyaki style or nabe broth, mirin, soy sauce, a hint of uh, dashi powder. I didn't go through a whole process of doing the kombu and the uh, uh you know a bonito flakes but i did it using a packet so i kind of cheated but it's fantastic uh, this is an absolutely amazing amazing flavored tofu it's got the broth and the taste of the bonito flakes for those of you who saw my previous video on my brisket you know that bonito flakes is the inocyanates together with the mushroom is a guanalate so i've got the mushroom component here or the uh, guanalate and the isocyanate is from the bonito flakes in the stock here so absolutely amazing amazing flavor I'm gonna taste the tuna the tofu again all right, now to eat this uh, fatty tuna, the toro tuna from the belly of the bluefin tuna, Han Maguro. Probably one of the you know most highly prized tuna in the world. I don't know how to describe this. It's fatty, gelatinous, hint of fish. You can feel that, that power of the tuna muscle in the belly. Just absolutely amazing, amazing flavor. It's, it's so good. Let me have another bite here. Wash it down with a little bit of dashi broth. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing tuna belly. So I have the smoked belly here, which I have not yet put into the soup. We're gonna taste it to compare how it tastes compared to the one that went into the soup. So this is kind of like a dry style tuna belly. You can see how it looks like here. So that kind of like a money muscle on the uh, pork itself. Absolutely golden brown from the teriyaki glaze cooked in the uh, EX6. Bite here, kind of like eating a piece of uh, pectoralis profundi from the pig, but this is from the ocean. Wow, that caramelization on the outside, absolutely amazing bite. I, I think it tastes better this way than in the broth. The broth is good, but this one really the flavor shines through. Uh, let me have a bite of the tuna skin. For those of you who like scat salmon skin roll, the bluefin tuna skin is you know crunchy and uh, you know like a little chicharrones. You can hear the crunch. Wow, fantastic. The skin is fantastic. Very crunchy, very similar to salmon skin, but with a kind of a thicker texture than salmon skin that you might have in a Japanese restaurant. Fantastic. All right, let's try the uh, collar next. All right, let's give it a shot here. So this one is the chicken wrap and this is the all-purpose. Just a squeeze of lemon. Look at that flesh here. Super duper tender. And look at that. Wow, that is absolutely, absolutely just amazing. Just a squeeze of lemon. Totally out of this world. I don't know how to describe this. Uh, I'm gonna have the same thing now with a little bit of crust here, bark. I'm going to use a little bit of the tare, tare sauce, which is the, the Japanese sweet soy dipping sauce, which I'll show you how to make. Just a little bit of tare on here. Wow, it is so much better with the tare. Okay, forget the lemon. Lemon that doesn't do it. The tare really brings home the flavor. So that's the chicken rub. I'm gonna try the one with the uh, all-purpose. See which one I like better. Super tender and absolutely melt in your mouth. 
super moist. Let's show you the other side here. Look at that. So it's glistening. Hope you can see that in the camera. It's glistening. Tad of tare. So, whoa, look at that. Pop in your mouth. Completely out of this world. I think it's fantastic. So let's uh, set this aside. Save our appetite for the main course of the whole tuna head. We'll see if we can get uh, someone to be brave enough to suck the eyeball out, eat the brains, and eat all the parts. So if you're squeamish, don't watch the next segment. Yeah, smoke tuna head. All right. Careful. Okay, heavy, careful. Okay, heavy, you got it? Okay, I got it. Okay, bring it inside. Wow. Do you have any comments? Harry soup for life. Alright, cool. So the best part is the eyeball and then the ski, the meat in the head here. Yeah, oh, you gotta try it. You was yeah, asking about how big the eyeball was. Yeah, try it. That's how big eyeball. Okay, so we'll we'll take one eyeball, let it cool down first, and then we'll dig out the meat from it's like the a pig feet. the eye the, from the uh, this part here. Okay, we'll dig out the other eyeball. This is the best part for the connoisseurs of uh, fish head. Okay, let's say red, let it rest a little bit here. Two eyeballs. So there's many different kinds of meat, right? So the dark meat is called akami and then the belly is called like toro. So there's two kinds of white meat and dark meat here. So this is like the dark meat. And this is super tasty here, try piece. Let, I'll show you guys, I serve the dark meat first. So you guys try the dark meat and we'll try the uh, white meat here. The conical part here, this is really beautiful. Look at this. the white meat is here. So here's the white meat. Yeah. Okay. So I let you guys uh, let me break it up for the white meat here. So the white meat here, I'm and in. the dark meat. Everybody, don't be bashful here. Okay. Dark meat, white meat, eyeball. The cheek is the best part here. So the cheek is here. Let me show you guys where that's, the cheek is. That's where it's at. So the cheek is right here. Oh, that's where it's at. So this thing here, see, very carefully lift it up, right? <laughs> this thing is huge. See, look at that. So this is the best part, the cheek here. Super hot. I'm trying to burn myself here. Ooh. All right, here be the cheek meat here. Ooh, hot. All right, I'm gonna dip in the tare. Give it a nice coat of tare. We're gonna shred it on the plate here. So, and then I'll show you guys how to, eat, how to eat the the eyeball. So you, you stick the eyeball like this, right? And then you suck it from the back. Like so, oh, right. You make some noises. Okay. Like <laughs> Is it the eyeball? Just like that. Wow. Pretty eyeball. So I train on eating fish head curry in Singapore. So when you get an eyeball. You want to suck it from the back, where all the meat is, take a big swig of it. Like so. And you finish with the eyeball. Like that. The eyeball. See that? Oh, not okay. ready for that. Yeah. Not ready for that. I'm going to spit up. Go. Go. <laughs> okay, so that's how you eat the eyeball. Well, if you guys are squeamish, don't watch this segment. Just fast forward to the end. <laughs> eating the eyeball, enjoying all the different parts, right? There is one part of the tuna head that not many people know how to reach. So if you are a very experienced connoisseur eating fish head curry, this is the best part. So there is a brain of the tuna right here. Let me see if I can crack it. Usually I use, I cook, a, I eat a much smaller fish head, but this is a really super big one. Right here, try not to hurt myself. So there is a brain in the middle of the tuna head. Careful, man. All right, so folks, don't do this at home because this is not the right way to use a $300 Dao Strong Shogun knife, all right? So, but since I have you handy, we're gonna get through this here. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody on YouTube that will show you how to break a uh, fish yeah, brain. Yeah, exactly. They don't show, they have, there's a lot they just, of- They just throw it back in the ocean. Yeah, there's Every a lot time, of episodes yeah. <laughs> showing you how they take apart the head, but not. I don't believe I've seen actually somebody show you how to take a part of fish head. Run it back. Here we go. So this part comes off. The camera is showing, right? Okay, this part comes off like here. So the key is to get the front, the nose part, like a rhinoceros nose off like that. And then you see this split here? So you take your hand and you're supposed to be able to split it right down this little split here. And the brain is right here. So it's the brain of the tuna. This gelatinous piece here, so. Okay. There you go. Char shoe. Whoa, that's okay. big gnar. So here's the brains of the tuna here. So there's a bloody part and there's a lot of- To you, cheers. Mr. Harry. Okay, cheers to everybody. <laughs> so for those of you who are grossed out, sorry. 
Just, just fall fast forward to the end. Gelatinous. Yum. So this That's creature that. swam the ocean thousands and thousands of miles. Just one. And you are eating the essence of that vitality from the ocean. Okay, Beans, you ready? Wait. I know you always get brisket, but today is something really bloody. See if he likes it. it. <laughs> he's an adventurous pup. <laughs> Mr. Beans eats everything, but he decided that he's not eating the fish brains uh, because uh, the, there's the fish brains left on the plate here. So uh, there you go. So for those of you who ever want to try this, this is definitely a treat. For those of you who are fish head aficionados. Yeah, we have a doing meal prep here. We are taking apart the tuna. Everybody's gonna have lots and lots of food no to take home. No survivors here. No one goes home. And home, all man. the meal prep containers for the tuna. Ready to go. Mm -hmm.